G'day everybody, welcome back to the channel. We've got our Howard 300 Blackout in front of us in the uh, XL Lite chassis stock, whatever you want to call it. And today we are going to change the trigger spring. Uh, we, it's, it's fitted standard with the Howard HACT two-stage trigger, Howard Actuator Control Trigger, with HACT stands for. Um, a lot of people shit can them, I don't mind them. They're not a bad trigger at all. It's, uh, it's a bit of, do a bit of work to them, they're fine. They're fine, nothing wrong with them. So we're gonna use our gun bloke trigger spring kit, and I'll explain this to you in a minute. And uh, we're gonna make a decent trigger pretty good for a fraction of the cost, well, for what a, uh, what a big trigger cost. So, let's see how we go. All right, let's have a look very quickly what we need for the job. Not too many tools at all. A couple of our wheeler, our wheeler um, uh, screwdrivers, the multiple heads. We've got a couple of drives here. We've got the Torx 30 and a hex five, and these are the two purely used for getting the uh, barrel action out of the stock. And we've got a hex three to uh, get the trigger assembly away from the, um, away from the uh, barrel action. We need a set of those little cheapy precision, they call it precision screwdrivers, they're the ones you use for uh, picking up little things and screwing little things like glasses, screws and that. About four or five bucks from Bunnings, they'll do. We want our wheeler trigger pull gauge. Okay, we want him, a little pair, of, little pair of nose pliers. And what we're all here about is the Hauer uh, two-stage uh, two trigger spring. Um, that's him, he comes delivered like that. You get him, you get him for a fella called the gun bloke. You get him off eBay. Um, there's no store, he's like an online store. He make, does muzzle brakes, etc. He's uh, located down the Gold Coast in Queensland. It's all mail order. That turns up to your front door like that, wrapped up in a little bubble wrap. That will cost you $22. We'll have a look what's in here. Okay, you will get, if I can get them apart. That's your two springs. If I can ever pick them up. We've got two springs there. Your front spring, your rear spring. And one more little C-clip, a little uh, spare C-clip for the uh, the front uh, that goes on behind the front one. But we'll have a, we'll show you how we do all that. And it's pretty easy to tell when it's a new trigger spring because they come out this nice silver. They're going to come this nice silver colour. And the factory ones, so I'll get a little factory one here. Are uh, this? Uh, oops, I will lose him. They come out that black colour. Okay. And that comes to, to, that's your standard spring. So, so he's no good. So he, he'll be a chuck away. Now the reason I'm changing the trigger spring on this uh, on this hour, I put a one and a half pound in it, and uh, lovely little trigger off the bench. Not that flash in a hunting situation, I don't think. Very nice, very nice trigger. Don't get me wrong, but a little bit light for my liking. So I'm going to change it out for a uh, change it out for a, this is a two and a half pound. I'm going to put in it, and. Um, We'll, uh, we'll change him out and we'll make this a, sli a slightly better rifle for purpose, I think. So stick around and let's do it. Right, we've got the barrel action and the stock apart and um, we're going to test our trigger spring. Now, as I said, I put a one and a half pound in this because I snigged that out of my old 3006 and I found it to be a bit light. So it's uh, the uh, firearm safe. There's nothing in there that's empty. Let's just test this trigger pull. Yeah, that's just just on a pound and a half. Just on a pound and a half. So really nice for the bench. Not really that flash for a hunting situation. For me, I just like a little bit more, uh, just so I get no surprises. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that out with our with our um, our gun bloke trigger spring that I bought off I made on eBay. And uh, we'll go from there. So we'll get this this fella off, and that's a hex three Allen drive, one screw in the front there. Out she comes. Come on. There's a trigger. That's a whole trigger trigger group out. And that is your Hauer two stage HACT trigger. The whole assembly right there. Okay. And the way you tell them that uh, she's a two stage trigger is the safety. Okay, you've got the tower three stage safety. Stage one right at the back, everything will be locked up. Stage two in the middle, uh, you can still action the, action the bolt, etc., but can't, can't, 
can't crack the trigger, and stage three, she's at full fire. That's how you tell them. And you also, the, the, um, they've got the little screw at the front and nothing at the back. The single stage triggers have like a, like a big bolty looking thing at the back. And um, you, you, this, what we're doing now, will only work for these, um, for these uh, two stage triggers. Because they're two springs, obviously. So while we're off camera, I'm gonna give things a good clean up. You get all the, all the shit out of there. Give, dunk that in acetone, get all the grease and everything out of it. It's a, just give it a good clean while, while we're away. So we'll do that and we'll get back. Okay, here's our trigger group. And there's our little viewing window in there. I really do hope you can see that one. The sear, you can see the hook is facing backwards, the little hook hole. That, that's what we got, that's a reference point. We'll come back to that later, okay? So the two we're gonna, the two we're going to remove, the two C-clips of these C-clips we're gonna move is this one and that one. We don't worry about this little one up here, forget him. So the first thing you have gotta do is get your safety into the middle position. There he is, because this one we're gonna pull off here, he pivots right through the safety or lever, I suppose you could call it. Um, yeah, that, that, that's him there. And if that's not in the middle, you don't put that safety in the middle, it can be a bit of a dick around to get it back together. So, all right, so here we go. Important tip for young players. Do not let these C-clips fly. They are under extreme pressure, believe it or not. And you, if you don't corral them for want of a better expression, they will go God knows where and you'll have the world's biggest treasure hunt trying to find this thing. They make no sounds when they bounce. They make no sound when they hit anything. So good luck finding it. So what I do is I put everything on a, just a, a towel, just a shitty old towel. And um, the idea is that will catch these C clamps. Okay? So what we do here, under there, I hope, I'll try and make you be able to see that. Yeah. Now this is just, just patience, that's all. You want to push that clamp off there, off the back of that clip there, and you'll see how they come out in a minute. Right, after much consternation and trying, swearing, etc., etc., we've got him off. Okay, now let's push him straight through. He goes straight through like that. Now remembering, that's the one. That's the one that our safety pivot's on, that bloke there, okay? So he's through there. Put him up there. Let's do the other one. Hopefully he'll play the game, this bloke. He's off, there you go, there he is. Okay. That's why we had the towel, because they go, God knows where they go. So there he goes, he's off. So I'll put him there, put him over here, right? Get him out of the way. Get a little pointer, and this will make our trigger blade come out, okay? There he is, everything falls out. Then the trigger blade, the sear, the whole box and dice all comes out, okay? Now, that's our rear spring he sits in there and sits up on the back of the sear i'll explain that when we pull it all apart and if we can see in there we see that spring in there I'm trying to show you the can we get it no all right yeah we'll try that there he is he's just in there all right so what we want to do is want to get him out he's got a little sear Remember, remember the hook. Remember the hook through the little viewing window. It's not the right word, but that's what I call it. Okay, so what we want to do here is get our little, oh, we can get our little um, pointer hook, and just hook, him, hook that spring out, and he just falls out there. That's him, he just falls out there. Now there are those two springs, and he sits behind that screw there. Okay, where is he? He will sit directly in the trigger behind that screw. Okay, so we'll get rid of these. We don't want these anymore. They're the one and a halves. And our second C-clip that comes in, comes with the kit, we put that around our big pin. When I, show you, when I say the big pin, I'll show you what I mean. These two pins are, oh, 
probably better if I put them down there, see if we can get them in shot. That one there, that's the one that goes, he's slightly longer, ever so slightly longer, because he's got to go through the trigger assembly and also through the, uh, through the safety assembly. All right, so he, he, he holds that whole show together. All right, so we get our new springs, which, and don't mix them up, because to the naked eye, they look horribly like the old ones. Okay, one here, and a new little C-clip. Now, this is where it all gets exciting. Okay, I call these a, a fat spring and a skinny spring. It's the easiest way to describe it for me. Your fat spring and your skinny spring. Okay, I'll try and get them apart a bit. Fat spring sits in behind the screw in front of the sear there, and the skinny spring, and the skinny spring will sit in front of the uh, sit in front of the trigger and up on the back of the sear like that. But we'll we'll do that. We'll get it all done in a sec. So what we've got to do firstly is get this. Oh, I had that then. Get this spring straight down in there. Now this requires some, a little bit of working upside down sometimes. I find the best way to do this, just put your spring over your little poker like that. Down in the hole. And he will, he should, if you've gone straight, he'll just sit straight in there like that. And I just, just give him a little bit, bit, just a tap on the head like that. And he's in there now. Now, here's your first of your hard bits. That there, that there, right, we, okay, we've got our spring, our sets of um, our clips and uh, our clips and pins, so we know what we're doing. Now, we put them back in from the safety side, okay, from the, uh, from the safety side, we go back in that way, so you've got to work back towards yourself. Right, so we've got the sear, now, it's going to go under the little bar there, it's got to go under drop sort of oh it's like a, a ooh, an off angle drop you drop it down down in that way like that down in as far as it'll go and then you've got to push it back and load it onto the spring and this is where your hand short you've got to push the um push the pin back through and clip that up but once you do that that's in place okay so this is just a matter of trial and error till you can get it Okay, make sure you don't knock the spring over. Okay, he's on top of the spring there like that. We'll get our little poker, put him down as far as we can. Now, here's the hard bit. We want our, our big spring, our, sorry, our big long pin, just in the hole there. You don't want him to encroach on that coming down there. Now, if we're good enough, we can line, we can line that, a hole up there. There's a hole in. The, there's a hole in the sear. We're going to line all that up and get that. Oh, how do I explain that? You sort of get that all in line. Then push the pin through, and we should be right again. Trial and error. Uh, a little headlamp. Sometimes this stuff doesn't really go astray either. Okay, now I've pushed that through there a bit. Okay, here he goes. Uh, I've knocked it out, see? Sometimes these things just will not play the game. Right, springs in. Now we've got to get the sear underneath that little bar. Get fat fingers out of it. There and down into there with that hook facing backwards. Because we're working upside down, I'm going to say it's facing up. All right, so we're going to whack this, drop the, sp uh, the sear in like that and under the bar on top of the spring. Bit of a funny angle, but we'll drop him in. Make sure that spring doesn't move and he's in as far as I want him to go. We'll get that. Right, there we go. We get our, our long pin. Just put him in the, ready to go through because once there's a hole there, we'll line that up and we should be good to go. No, 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 no. 
don't want to touch that just yet. Here he is. There's the hole. Can we get all, there he is, straight through. Look at that, bingo. So we get our C-clip on. Now we put the new one on that comes with the spring. It goes on the, uh, on the big one. He's on, there he is, he's on there like that. Now we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Got to get the uh, trigger blade in there, that's where a skinny spring comes in. He sits in that hole in the front of the trigger blade. He fits, sits on the back, the spring sits on the back of the sear and all goes up and that knots there, oops, that knots there basically pivots underneath that bar there. So it's a, you've really got to do a bit of tricky assembly to get all that in. And we've got, again, our holes just line up straight through there with our pin from the safety, uh, safety mechanism side. So here we go. This should be fun. This is a hard bit because you've got to work everything upside down. Otherwise, there's, you can't put grease in these things and to, anything to hold the, uh, hold the springs in. It's just what I do is I... Whack him up there, put a little bit of load on the spring so you can get him up under there. Then, no, I dropped him. And that's, I get him in there and I'll just muck around with him and just manipulate him with that little pointer prong thing there. Okay. Okay, so we'll, he's in there, so we'll just push him, push him in there, see if we can get away with this. And he's come out again. Because he's you let him out too far, that spring's gonna come away. So what we'll do is we'll push our our little pin in. Oh, it doesn't want to go in, you bloody one. Okay, that's okay. Now we'll push that in. So we'll just give him a push action, give him a little tip down there, just in there like that. Okay, that's got him right, I think. Yep, he's good in there now. So we've got to get this bloke, this bloke here, in there and just manipulate that trigger blade until those holes line up. And you can see it all through there. Oh, man. You're almost like a, a finger short doing this. You really are. There he is. Once, you, once he lines up, he just all pops straight through. So that's this whole trigger group basically is held together by a couple of pins. There's nothing, nothing difficult about this. I, mean, I did make it look difficult. You know, it's just patience, trial and error. You work out how to do it. Just follow your nose. Okay, I'll try and get him back on there. Come on. Get him back on there. Come on. won't play the game today, these things. Nothing's playing the game today, and I don't know why. Here we go. He's on. Right, that's our trigger group, done. Now if we could have a look in there, uh, you see that sear hook is facing backwards, so that's, that's perfect, that's how it's supposed to be. All right, let's get this rifle back together really quickly. All right, let's get this beastie back together. Firstly, a little bit of, you, you don't want heaps and heaps of oil on triggers, that's bad news, but you're gonna have metal to metal here, and possible dissimilar metals and all that, so might even, you never know, might get a moisture under or something. Oh, God. So we'll um, just put a little bit of, little bit of film of oil from your finger, on your finger, um, Just on the uh, just on the barrel action. Okay, that's all you've got to do. Rub a bit on there, a little bit on your finger. That's fine. Okay, trigger group goes back on. Really, really easy. This lug fits in that channel there. That locates it. Couldn't be easier. The fit between is a trap for young players. The fit with a single stage trigger is a bit different. It's just not quite right. So there, there are 
slightly different trigger body altogether, trigger group body. So we get our hex head, uh, hex three drive screw, whack him in there, no Loctite on, tri on screws for triggers, no Loctite anywhere near triggers. Okay, screwing down there with our hex three, no torque wrench required, but, but oops, she's nipped up, that's all we need. Okay, so we'll do a function test. Okay, in the rifle. Okay, safety, full safety. No trigger, no bolt. Stage two safety, bolt, still no trigger. Stage three, bolt, bang. Okay, that's working, good. Function test works. Right, let's test this trigger. I do like to give them I'm going to do just a little squirt of this CRC silicon. Don't know why, I just do. Doesn't say in any of the books, I just like it. And I like this stuff, I reckon it's really good. So, we've uh, cocked the rifle. Let's see where we are at that trigger. Two pound. Another one. Do it two or three times. Same, same. One more, just for luck. See, if that's not consistent, I don't know what is. So there you go. There you go. All right, let's get this rifle back together and um, we'll wrap this one up. Right, changing the trigger spring on the Hauer. H-A-C-T, a two-stage trigger, done. Um, not the hardest job you'll ever do, despite me making it look a hell of a lot more difficult than what it really is. Um, buy these trigger spring kits off Gunbloke, um, off eBay, and they turn up mail to your door, and they've got a comprehensive list of instructions. You really can't go too wrong. Watch videos like these on YouTube. It's not difficult, it really is. Just a bit of patience, a bit of t trial and error, a few half-decent tools, and you're fine. You're fine. You could take a okay, pretty half decent sort of trigger. The, the, the HACT trigger is a half decent trigger out of the box. Turn it into a really nice trigger, a really good trigger, um, for a crack, fraction of the cost of a big one. You can go and you can spend $350 plus on a trigger, more power to you. Or you can do it for about 22 bucks and the job takes 15 minutes. There's more time spent disassembling the rifle and putting it back together and actually doing the trigger, if you, actually doing the, the spring job, if you can get it all together and everything plays the game. Okay, so that, that's all it is. And if it doesn't play the game, swear at it and just keep going. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. So I'm gonna put this one to bed. Um, if you liked the video and you got something out of it, I hope you did, um, please, give it a, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, that'd be really good. And um, there's plenty more content to, uh, plenty more content to come and uh, stick around because, and please enjoy some more. So until I see you all next time, tell your wife, tell your girlfriend, tell them both. Don't matter to me, just go two clicks up, ta-da.